Well, it's a mild afternoon, a slight breeze over at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. And sitting atop the Soyuz booster, 160 feet high, is the next crew set to launch to the International Space Station. They are NASA's Chris Cassidy and Roscosmos cosmonauts Anatoly Ivanishin and Ivan Wagner. And they are set to blast off in just under an hour from now at 3.05 a.m. Central Time, 4.05 a.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. This is going to be the first crewed launch on the new Soyuz 2.1A booster, launching from Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. This type of booster was first launched during an unmanned mission last summer in preparation for today. And also notable, this is going to be the first launch from Site 31 since October of 2016, when NASA's Shane Kimbrough launched on Soyuz MS-02 as part of Expedition 49. And then once the crew arrived at Pad 31, again, officials from their respective space agencies able to lead them to the final steps before they make their way up to the elevator, taking them to the top of the Soyuz booster. Again, about 160 feet tall, the Soyuz spacecraft sitting on top inside of a protective launch shroud. Ivan. Again, they were able to climb up those stairs, wave goodbye to the final well-wishers there at the pad, right at the elevator up to the top of the Soyuz to board the capsule. And as of this moment, they've been on board for about two hours. In fact, just before we came on the air at about 1.53 a.m., they were getting ready to step through their leak checks on their spacesuits. Uh, they, about five minutes later, reported that they had completed all the leak checks on the hatches of the Soyuz spacecraft, and the crew kicked off those leak checks, closing their visors and pressurizing their suits. And we'll be getting a couple of views inside the cabin throughout our coverage and the ride uphill. launch and there goes the second tower so we are 15 seconds away from launch we're going to see the boosters at the bottom light up and as their thrust builds it'll eventually overcome Main one. and lift off cassidy even each and wagner on their way to the international space station seconds into the flight. All parameters are nominal. We confirm on board, all parameters are nominal. 20 seconds into launch. Our thrusters are working nominally. The crew is feeling fine. 30 seconds. All parameters for the vehicle are nominal. The crew is feeling fine. 40 seconds into flight. Thrusters are working nominally and the vehicle is nominal. Getting good continuous calls from the crew and the ground, everything with the vehicle looking nominal. The first stage powering the Soyuz upward, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from the four strap-on boosters in that single core engine. Roll and your 
at 60 minutes into flight. The yaw pitch roll, the attitude or which way it's pointing, we're hearing all those parameters or the status of it, nominal. 70 seconds into flight. Everything's fine with the vehicle on our side. We confirm we're feeling good. Again, this first stage going to continue to burn for just about two minutes into the flight. So just under a minute to go on the first stage. Ninety seconds. In the flight, uh, thrusters are working nominally. We confirm, and we're feeling well on board. So he's continuing to retreat from view, already traveling well in excess of 1,100 1, miles per hour. We confirm. And seeing the Koryov cross there as those strap on boosters separate, the first stage separating right on time. We also confirm lateral units separate. Their job done, they drop weight at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. The Soyuz traveling at about 3,300 miles an hour. Vehicle stabilization is nominal. Everything's fine on board. And with the first stage in the launch escape tower now jettisoned, being powered by that second stage, the core stage. We confirm the jettisoning of the... No. The shroud jettison and getting some views now from the Soyuz spacecraft itself, looking back towards the Soyuz rocket. You have a solar array right in front of your view there. The launch shroud has been jettisoned, so the Soyuz spacecraft now exposed. 70 seconds into flight. The vehicle is fine, and we are feeling well on board. This is Erkute. And standing by for second stage shutdown. We confirm separation of stage two. We see it as well. Everything's nominal on board. Copy. So we'll see the engines cut off, and once the vehicle separates, it usually gives the crew a bit of a jolt. Then the Soyuz will be flying free. We see the third stage separating there. And we can see it dropping away now. Third stage separation confirmed. And congratulations, guys. You are in orbit. I am handing you over to the Mission Control Moscow. And as we can see on the video here, that solar array deployed. We have confirmation that the one on the other side also deployed, along with what's known as the appendages, all of the antennas, so the rendezvous and the communication antennas all deployed on the Soyuz spacecraft.